Welcome to another video tutorial on patterns of square numbers. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss one more pattern of square numbers. And if you look at these numbers on the left hand side, these are some numbers. And if we take their squares, then we are getting these numbers. So 49 is the square number of 7, 4489 is the square number of 67. And same way here, 4,44,889 is the square number of 667. Okay, what is the pattern here? First of all, observe the numbers on the left hand side and the numbers on the right hand side that are square numbers, all these numbers. Here on the left hand side, we have, we are performing squares of these numbers. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is that in each of these numbers, at the unit space, you have seven, right? you should have seven, okay? And leaving this number that is only seven squared, that's all the, all the other numbers have six at their rest of the uh, rest of the number places. Like in this case, you have at the tens place, you have six. In this case, you have at the tens place and at the hundreds place, you have six and six. At the tens place, at the hundreds place, at the thousands place, you have six and only six. Then tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, and ten thousands place, you have six. So either you should have only seven, or at the unit space, you should have seven, and at all other places, the rest of the places should have six. That's the things that are common on the left hand side. On the right hand side, the thing that is common is leaving this one. This all the other number has nine, eight, and four. Okay, so the game is of nine, eight, and four only. Now let's look at the pattern. In this case, how many six do we have on the left hand side? How many six do we have? You have zero six, okay. Now since you have zero six, if you observe the pattern, the pattern is if you have zero six, then the number of eights, then the number of eights on this side, that is a square numbers is actually the count of number of six. So here sixes, so here you have 0, 6, so number of 8 here will be 0. So simply first write 9 at the units place in all these numbers, put 9 at the units place, then count the number of 6, number of 6 is 0. So to the left of the 9, write 0, 8, right? So it means we don't have any 8, simply write 9 only. Now the number of 4, the count of 4 will be 0, that is the number of 6 in this number plus 1. So how many 4 you'll have? You'll have 1 4. So write 4 here. That is what 4, 49 is here. Now if you look at this number, how many 6 do we have? We have 1 6. Okay. So first write 9 at the unit space. Okay. Now you have 1 6. It means that you'll have how many 8s? You'll have 1 8. This is the same count. So write 8 here. Now how many 4s we will have? The number of 4s will be 1, that's this number, plus 1. So you'll have 2 4s. So 4 and 4. That's what this number is here. Okay. Now if you look at this number, first write 9 here. Okay. Now tell me how many 6 do we have here? We have 2 6s. So 2. Okay. So tell me what will be the number of 8 in this number? The number of 8 will be 2. So write 8 here and 8 here. Number of 4, 4s will be 2 plus 1, that is 3. So 4, 4 and 4. This is the number here. Right? So we have, sorry, this one. So we have 3 4s, 2 8s and 1 9. Okay. In this case, for this one, first write 9 here. How many 6 do we have? We have 3 6. So 3 6. It means that number of 8s will be 3. So write 8 8 8. And number of 4s will be 3 plus 1. That is 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? Now, if you take this one, now tell me how many 
first write 9 here. Now tell me how many 6s do we have? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have 4 6s. It means number of 8 will be 4. So write 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now number of 4s will be 4, this 4 plus 1 that is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 9. Okay. Now if you look at this one, first write 9 here. How many 6 do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 6s. So 5. So number of 8s will be 5. And number of 4s will be 5 plus 1 that is 6. Right? So first write number of 8s. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then number of 4s will be 6 4s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In the same way you can solve for this one also. Right? So the main thing is that the number whose square you are taking it should have 7 at the units place. Right? And like this one is very simple. We all know the square of 7. But for these numbers if you have 7 at the units place and the only digit at the other number places is 6 only. The only digit is 6. Then you can find the square of those numbers using this pattern.